Right now, CCS Oncology is in court fighting a case of defaulted loans that could force the company to shut down. Something that could affect a whole lot of people getting cancer treatments right now. Tonight, Channel 2's Jeff Preval uncovered some new details in this case that patients will want to see. On Tuesday, CCS Oncology locations were raided by the FBI. Attorneys for the cancer treatment provider say the feds have been pursuing a Medicare fraud investigation against CCS. Last week, a court gave Bank of America the right to seize CCS property and recoup more than $23 million. Two on your side has been asking questions to attorneys on the case how this could affect patients. We've obtained this proposed order of seizure filed by attorneys for CCS, which would allow the bank to take all equipment and inventory and any records, but not patient medical records. The proposal also says that if CCS doesn't allow Bank of America to take assets, the U.S. Marshals Service would be allowed to seize expensive, state-of-the-art equipment CCS has at its locations in Williamsville, Lockport, Orchard Park, Niagara Falls, and Kenmore. In Judge Elizabeth Wolford's ruling last week, she says the actions by Bank of America will likely result in a forced shutdown of defendants' businesses. I reached out to attorneys for CCS Oncology multiple times for a response, but never heard back. The Department of Justice has already sent out letters to CCS patients saying if they need to discuss the continuation of their care, prosecutors recommend that patients contact their primary care doctor. In Buffalo, Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.